Hello everyone. So today I will tell you that how you can configure the Goodwe solar inverter. Also, I will tell you that how you can connect your Goodwe solar inverter with your Wi-Fi and how you can remotely access the inverter data with Sims Portal app. Before I proceed further, uh, let me tell you that what type of issues that I have encountered with while configuring my Goodwe inverter. So I'm using Goodwe DNS G3 model. Uh, in the user manual of that, uh, it was mentioned that uh, uh, in order to configure your Goodwe inverter, you will have to connect uh, with the Goodwe hotspot, uh, which is uh, something like solar Wi-Fi and the serial name of your inverter. So uh, the particular hotspot or a Goodwe inverter hotspot was not appearing in my any of the devices. And uh, I have tried with multiple ways uh, like reloading the Wi-Fi, restarting the Wi-Fi, uh, restarting the Goodwe inverter machine, but nothing works for me. Even I have uh, watched so many videos of Goodwe training series, uh, but nothing works. Okay, uh, the particular hotspot of my uh, of my inverter was not appearing in any of my devices. So I have reached uh, to the customer support of Goodwe and uh, they have told me that the process has been changed. So uh, let me tell you what are the process, what are the steps that we need to follow in order to connect your Goodwe inverter uh, with your router and how you can uh, remotely access the Goodwe inverter data using Sims Portal app. So let's do it. First of all, you will have to download the Stellarvo application from the app store. And for those who are using the Android devices, uh, they will have to look for the SolarWave application in Play Store. Once downloaded, you will have to open the particular application. Then you will land to the particular page. Okay, in which there are two sections. One section is of a Bluetooth, and another section is of a wireless net. So we will look for the Bluetooth option, and all the nearby devices which are available will be shown over here. Okay. So suppose if your inverter communication model is supporting both Wi-Fi and LAN, then the device name should be something will be started from WLA followed by the serial number. Now you need to tap on the device device which you wanted to configure. After that, a pop-up will be appear to you in which you need to type your credential. Okay. So um, yeah, that is the pop-up which I'm talking about. Uh, so suppose if you are a user, then you need to look for the user option. If you are the installer, uh, you will have to look for the installer option. But for both, the password will remain the same. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And after that, you need to log in. And once done, uh, you will land to the home page of this particular application in which all the inverter data will be start appearing. Okay, but for time being, we need to configure the Wi-Fi, uh, and then uh, you need to go to the setting of this particular page, and then uh, over there, uh, there is a setting known as communication setting. You need to tap on the communication setting, and after that, you need to tap on the wireless LAN setting. By default, the switch will be off, and uh, uh, you need to make this particular WLAN switch on. <clears throat> Once you will be on, then this particular data will start appearing. Okay. Now you need to connect to your uh, home Wi-Fi. Okay. So for that, you need to click on the network name. So it will start searching all the nearby Wi-Fi which are available right now. So it, uh, once I tap, then these are the list of the devices uh, which are available. So you need to select the particular devices. I would prefer to go with two gigahertz bands. Okay. And then after selecting, you need to just type OK. After that, you need to type the password of your uh, Wi-Fi router and then you make uh, you you can make DHCP option on. Okay. And once done, you need to save it. And after that, you will land to the uh, home page of this application. Probably by, uh, Bluetooth may uh, disconnect after connecting to the Wi-Fi. And uh, if, if Bluetooth is disconnected, it means that you are done. Uh, with uh, configuration of Wi-Fi. So now let me tell you that how you can identify whether your inverter is connected to the internet or not. So if you, if you will see the inverter, there are two lights. One is orange and another one is green. So orange light gives the status of internet connectivity. Even in the communication module, if you will see, there's a, there's a blue light showing. Okay. So if both the light is stable, okay, and is not blinking at all, it means that you are successfully connected to the internet and you are done with the first step. 
and if you see that they are orange light and blue light in the communication model both are not stable and they are keep blinking it means that your inverter is not connected to the internet and you have done something wrong so you need to check what you have done done wrong and you, you have to follow this step again i am considering that your inverter is connected to the internet now in the next step i will tell you that how you can uh, access the inverter data remotely outside your home or how you can register in the sims portal app so in order to do so you will have to download the sims application uh, and you will have to make sure that you have downloaded the plus version of it because they have migrated from sims to the sims plus okay once the application has downloaded uh, you need to open the particular application and you need to register it your own set own okay and you will have to fill the required information like area email address uh, the uh, currency and 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 and, uh, and some more information after successful registration you need to log in with your credentials you will land to the specific page of this particular application so initially there will be no information shown because you have not created a station so for that you will need to go to the second tab tab and you need to create a station so for that you need to tap on the start button and you need to fill all the required information so let's start with the station name where, where you can give your solar panel uh, station to the station name okay and your current address okay and after that your detailed uh, station address can be filled over here and uh, after that station category means uh, whether uh, your solar is on grid off grid and whatever so you can give uh, like in my case uh, it is on grid and uh, the station capacity it's five kilowatt and number of modules installed it is nine in my case and the rate or revenue means a unit per unit price is 6.5 on an average okay and you can upload the station profile photo over here and you need to tap on save and continue after that uh, now this is very important part in which you will have to upload the device information your inverter information okay so for that um, uh, you need to tap on the scan qr code and uh, you need to take a photo okay so in take a photo what you need to mention uh, like uh, as you can see in the screen uh, in the above photo there's a barcode mentioned over here okay so you need to scan that particular barcode so all the information will be filled automatically if barcode is not detect detecting the info then what you need to do uh, you need to manually fill the information and you can get all these information like device serial number device name and verification code at the right side of your inverter so once this that particular process is done then your inverter will immediately send data to the same portal and your device will be registered and you can remotely uh, view uh, all type of data which uh, which your inverter is emitting so, so this is how the view should be look like after the successful registration of your device in Sims Portal app. From now, you will start getting the real-time data of your inverter in this particular application, like how much energy is produced today. Also, you can compare the data of months. If you want to add the another device, then you need to go on the second tab and in the device section, there's a add icon so you from by tapping on the add icon you need to click on the inverter and you just need to fill the information manually or either by the qr code so my video will help you out to configure your inverter if you really like the content of my video please like it and also subscribe to my channel thank you thank you so much